Hey folks, Red Spikes Gaming here. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Eternal. So today we're going to continue digging in on applied energetics um, and start working on our new storage and computing uh, solution. So uh, we're going to really get into that today and uh, move forward. So I hope you're ready for that. If you are, sit back, relax, and let's get started. Alright, since last episode I've increased this room that way quite a ways and then I encased our inscriber machine so it kind of looks like a real machine here and what we did to encase this is we made some factory blocks and if you look at factory block factory block it's these guys here it's just metal and stone is all it is and you get these and they don't do anything special other than they have some really cool textures on them. So if you take your chisel, your eye chisel, and you put it on there, you just get all kinds of really cool textures that you can use. Um, so if you're building machinery and you want to encase it and make it look nice, that's the way to go. Um, and then what I've done here is I've added these access points so I can get to the inscribers in the back if I need to. So that's all that is. And then this is actually this fan here actually a door so I can get to these inscribers here and the reason I wanted to be able to do that is I want to increase the speed at which these work and to do that we need to make some cards and so if we look at card what we want to make are acceleration cards right so I want this to work faster and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna need some advanced cards um, Specifically, I've got seven different inscribers, so we're going to make seven of these right now. So if you look at your advanced card, you're talking two diamonds per, which is why I'm only going to make one per machine. And then a calculation processor per. But you get two out. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four rounds of those. So we've got eight advanced cards now. And then if we want to make the accelerator card, you add Fluix crystal to it. And we're going to not do the pure, we're going to use regular, because, you know, pure is another step that we don't want to mess with. Doop, 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 doop. There we go, and now we have eight of those cards. And then what we can do is we'll go on here, and we'll look at each of these. Now this is the one making calculation presses, so we're just going to put one card in there for that. And this is the one making logic presses, so we're going to put one card in there for that. Um, this is the one making engineering presses, so one card in there for that. And then this is the one making silicon presses, which is used for all the rest of them. We're going to put two cards in there. We're going to speed this guy up. You see, two cards is like blam. See how quick it's doing it now? Blam. A lot better. And because he's shared between everything else, I think he should have two. And then on these, we're going to also put an accelerator card per here um, you got to get into the ascriber itself acceleration card there and an acceleration card there and so later on we can add more if we want but right now that'll make these all faster doing what they do and so I put some glass panes in here so you can still see the the press is working and then this is our input here and you can see, got quite a bit of silicon in here right now. I've been just kind of grinding through silicon. Here's some extra calculation processors and some logic processors. I've been doing a lot of that because we're going to need a lot of those for the next part that we're going to do. So let me get that prepared and we'll continue. Okay, I believe we have everything we need now to start making our AE2 system. So I've got a ton of processors I've been making. This thing is just constantly spitting out. And since I've got gold and I've got silicon, I just toss it all in there and it spits it all out. And so we should have circuits and... Oh, you know what's missing? Redstone. Ran out of redstone. But that's okay. When we get done, uh, we won't have to actually load this stuff. It'll all be automatic from now on. The network will send it for us. We'll order up that we need some stuff and it will build it all. It's really neat that way. It's the only reason I'm even getting into AE2. Uh, simple storage seems to work pretty well for me. It's a little laggy maybe, and so that's part of the reason, but the other reason is that the auto crafting with the AE2 is really cool. I enjoy it. Um, so we're going to set all that up. So in fact, the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to build a system to increase storage. 
to automate storage increase for uh, AE2. So that said, we got to start with the basics. And the basics are these things here. I've already got them lined up. And so the first thing is we need an energy acceptor. So an energy acceptor, just think of it as the plug between our flux network and the rest of the AE2 system. So to make the energy acceptor, we just need some quartz glass, iron, flux crystals. We've covered everything here except for quartz glass, which that's not a big deal. That's just glass and crushed quartz. And I've been crushing quartz. Um, I don't know why it wants to choose other things, even though there's plenty of it there. I've been crushing quartz in the pulverizer up top. And so I'm going to make, I'm going to make a stack here. So we can start with a stack of quartz glass. So now that we have quartz glass, we can make our energy acceptor. And so here we start with this. That is our plug, like I said, into the system. And so we're going to put that... Um, I'm not sure where we want to do our computer. Let's just do it right here. Whatever. It's a good spot. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll go right here on five. And then behind the wall, I'm going to put our, our plug. Our uh, flux point. This is where our energy comes from. Bam. And so now he should have energy. So he should be good to go. So let's put this like that. Okay. One thing to know, this is a hungry, a power hungry system. So I wouldn't be surprised if we start to see a power drain once we get this going. So anyways, this is our, our, our power. All right. So the next thing we want to build is a controller. And then this guy right here this is like the brain of the system okay this is the thing that you know controls everything else and so we're gonna build him he is just some sky stone some pure fluids and those engineering processors we made so we go like that and of course why do we not have any sky stone we do have sky stone eh, 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 eh. is it a special kind of sky stone sky stone block What's the difference between that and what was is it smooth sky stone? It's smooth sky stone, isn't it? Yep, okay. Well that we should be able to either chisel or cook. I'm not sure. Let's see if we can chisel it first. A lot of times you can chisel these things. So give my chisel. Where are you, chisel? Where'd you go? There you go. Put you here and click on you nope okay so smooth sky stone block we of course have to cook it looks like so i'm gonna run upstairs and cook a bunch of that and i'll be right back all right smooth size sky stone in the network now we should be able to do that boom now we have a controller okay and boom made the advancement network switchboard and so we're gonna put this controller here and you see he comes online because he's got power so now he he's all pretty looking okay and I think hmm I'm trying to think if there's a smarter way for me to do this because you have what's called an AE2 channels which means that each line that you come off of your controller can only have so many channels um, I think increasing this increases the number of channels you can have. So we're going to do something different. We're going to keep it basic for now. And then I'll, ad I'll advance it as we go later on. We'll just keep it to this just one simple thing. Just so I can show you guys how this works. Because I'll probably do a lot of the fine work offline. So, and then explain it to you afterwards so you can see. Alright, so now you have ME drives. Okay. So you get a controller and you need a place to store all your stuff and an me drive is some of those engineering processors and some glass cable so glass cable is flux crystal plus quartz fiber which is more crushed quartz and glass which we've done and i've got a bunch of these already in if you look at um cable here you can see i did 256 already so that we were ready because we're going to need it for connecting things. All right. And so ME drive, two engineering processors, which remember those are the diamond ones. So those are expensive. Um, but we're going to make two drives. Okay. Because we're going to need room eventually. Probably not going to fill them up for a little while, but I just want two drives. And we can put the drives here 
and here for now. Like I said, all this is going to get have to get moved around, I'm sure. Okay. And then in these drives, we have to put disks to store things, okay? So you can't store anything without disks. But before we do that, we want to be able to visualize what's in there. Right now, you can't visualize what's in the network. So we need this crafting terminal, which you can do a regular terminal and you can see, but we're going to go for the crafting terminal. The crafting terminal needs the regular terminal. And the regular terminal needs illuminated panels. And those need quartz glass, glowstone, and that. So we're going to make, we'll go ahead and take three of them out. That should be good for now. And then we go back over here, and now we need the ME terminal, and then that needs formation cores, which are logic processors, Fluix, and charge crystals. So I'm going to make two sets of those, and toss those up in there, and then it also needs um, annihilation cores, which are quartz, Fluix, and logic processors. So we're going to make two sets of those. Um, I want to make sure there wasn't a quest I needed for that, so I'm always pull your stuff down into your inventory before you toss it up in there all right so we got that and now we can make an ME terminal from a logic processor the illuminated panels and those cores we made bam So now we get an ME terminal and we're gonna turn that ME terminal into a crafting terminal by adding a crafting table and a calculation processor and bam we've got that cool now we need cable Okay, take the cable, regular cable, and we'll take that. And what we're gonna do, boom, now we've got a much bigger table. And advanced Fluix Energy Connection, probably both of those from completing this. And we're gonna put this guy, a cable connected like that, and then I'm gonna slap the terminal like that. And now this is, for all intents and purposes, a fully working ME system. It's got, except it doesn't actually have any storage. So you can't actually put anything in it. You can look at it, you can say, hey, I've got a crafting thing here, but you can't do anything without storage. So the next thing we're gonna need are drives. And so to make drives, um, we need, we'll do add applied. I didn't have this one ready to go, sorry about that. Um, drive, not drive, I'm sorry, uh, storage. So you're going to be making these, these storage cells, but they need these things to be made. So we're going to actually go ahead and you can do a 1K ME storage component. And so we'll do that real quick. And that is made by taking logic processors, Certus Quartz, and Redstone and that gives you 1k worth of storage space, okay? But you have to put it in a cell before it works. So um, let's see, where is the 1k cell? All right, you need a housing, and a housing is more quartz glass, iron, and redstone. Boom, you take this, you put this here like this, and now you have a 1k ME storage cell. Boom, better than chests. And now we can take that and we can put that right in here like that. And now you can see it's green. It's not full yet. Um, so when it starts to get full, it'll go yellow. And then when it's full, when it can't take any more items, it'll go red. Okay. So this cell can hold up to 8,192, I think. It's 1K worth of a single unit in here okay and it but it can only hold up to 63 different types so if you do different types i think it's like 4000 is the limit per slot so you can either do 8000 of a single type or 4000 of 63 different types but that's just the 1k me storage if we take it up to 64k then you can do 52000 of a single item or 26 624 I think something like that but of 63 different items so you basically you want to aim for 64k drives is what you want to do so but just to show you if we put that in there and we go in here and let's put this cobblestone brick in here okay 
So we've got a cobblestone brick in the network now. Now whenever we go here, what it's basically done is it's converted items into energy and it stores them on a drive. That's the idea of what's happening here. So if we highlight over this, we can see that, hey, we've only used nine bytes of 1024 total in one type. And so that's how you how you how this works and so you dump all your stuff into this into these drives and you've got everything stored in a small area and then you can craft from it like normal and there's other ways to increase some things that we'll get into so that's the basics of it but i don't want to do 1k drives okay i want there's no way for me to clear that is there uh, and, and you know what i screwed up is you don't want to make it well i wanted to show you anyway so that's that's a garbage drive because I want to make a 64k drive and so to do a 64k drive we need basically you start with the 1k components and then you make 4k components from those 1k components so you need three of each of these and then from the 4k components you make 16k components right and then you needed three of those 4k components i think i made more things than i needed actually because i was thinking four per but it's three per plus a processor um so anyways and then you need of those you need four of those to make a 64k so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make start with making 64 i think is the total so four of these times four of these is 16 times four is 64 am i right no six and four twenty four four yeah okay so let's see if this works so let's go boom 1k and we're gonna make a whole 64 stack of the 1k components okay i'm gonna hold shift click and now i've got 64 of them sweet now to go to the 4k we're gonna need 16 of these i think of the 4k components i always get confused with this math guys Bear with me. Also, just so you guys know, there is extra cells too in this, which means that you can take this up past 64K. You can get into 1024. You can get into 16384. It gets crazy, okay? Um, you can store fluids. You can store gases. You can store all kinds of stuff in the ME system, so that's pretty cool. That scared me. Okay, so but what we want is we want the 4K, not the fluid. Where are you? 4K storage component, this guy, Okay. So I think we want 16 of these, so I'm going to count these out myself. I'm sure I'm doing the math wrong here, but that's okay. All right, and we have 16 of the 4K, which means now we can make four of the 32K, or the 16K, sorry. I should know this. I'm a damn programmer. My brain just doesn't work when I'm home sometimes. All right, we need four of the 16K. That's these guys. Powers of four, man. Powers of four. So we go one, two, three, four. Bam. And then we can now make a, six, a 64K component from those, which we didn't need four. We needed three, but that's because, you know, whatever. And we go bam. And now we have a 64K component. Nice. And then we can make that into a drive by just giving us another housing. And we go U, and we go U, and now, bam, we have a 64K storage cell. And that's really nice. So that goes there. So now we can store a lot more of, of what I say, 63 items. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use this system to automate building more of these drives okay so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten um so that's going to be 630 different items can go in here and so 1260 between the two of them now one thing you got to keep in mind is i'm going to keep my storage drawers Everything that's on a storage drawer stays there, and those can connect to the system too, so that you don't have to worry about getting rid of your drawers. But all of the stuff that's in those crates are going to end up in these drives right here, is what we're going to do. So, let me get ready, set up, to show you guys how to do the auto-crafting, and I'll be right back.
All right, so for this next part, um, we're going to hold off on doing the uh, auto crafting until next episode because I really need to give you guys a primer on cabling and how that works. And so I'm going to show you how cables with this AE2 system works. To do that, I went ahead and made this uh, open blocks drawing table. And if you look at the open blocks drawing table, which you don't need to do this. This is just something I'm doing for the lesson. It's basically some planks, a crafting table, unprepared stencils, a sketch pen, pencil, which is just sticks and charcoal. Um, and then these are just metal and paper. Okay. You put all that together, you get this guy. You put him down, then you make some more of those stencils and you put them in here. And then, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Dang it. All right. Well, let's trash that because I don't want that. What I want is the stencils. So give me nine more of them just in case. Um, and we're going to put two in here. Uh, we actually want two. I don't want the A. How do I get rid of the A? Glyphs. Let's do one at a time. One space. Why is A in there? Oh, I see. Okay, okay. So now I have two A's, which I don't need, which is why I made an extra one. What you do is you put your... Come here, stencil. You put your blank stencils in. Don't worry about what it says right here. Type your new thing here. Right? And let's actually only do these one at a time. I don't trust it. Print. There's two. Make this three. Print. And four, and I'll show you why we're doing this in just a second. Here comes five. Print. Here comes six. Print. Here comes seven. Print. Here comes eight. Print. And here comes nine. Why are you no go in there? You're a glyph. I don't know what happened to you. Here comes nine. Print. Okay. So we should have between us one. We don't have two. I screwed up two somehow. Okay. Well, let's trash that one. We got two ones. That's how. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, let me make one more. And we'll do a two real quick. You get on there. You go to print. Okay, so we have all of these. And what we're going to do is I'm going to put in each of these a number. Okay. And that way you know every numbered chest. And there's a reason we did nine of them. But seven, yeah, okay. All right, so every chest you look in, it's got a number, okay? And what we're going to do is we are going to connect these chests to this network, okay? Um, so you don't always have to store in the disks. It's the best way to go unless you're doing something like your storage drawers. But you can also hook up to these things. So to do that, we need a thing called an interface, okay? ME interface and it's made with some iron ingots some annihilation and a formation core so we need to make a couple of these so let me do that real quick make sure we have enough of those we're gonna make eight more of those and then we're gonna go formation cores we're gonna make eight more of those okay and then some more glass iron and those and we can make interfaces so now I have nine interfaces okay Cursive networking. And what we can do is we can put an interface on each of these, okay? Um, I think this is right. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's, there's a different thing that I'm thinking for the interface. Let me think real quick. At applied interface. It's not a special. No, that's fluid. That's that one. I, I think I'm right with this. Interface. Um, inventory, one second, I'm going to figure this out. 
Okay, so I was right. It is these. We do need these interfaces, but we have to take them one step further. We use these to make what's called a storage bus, okay? And you do a lot of other things with the interfaces too, but we're going to make a storage bus out of these. So, storage bus. Where are you? Energy, energy. Storage bus. All right. And so it needs sticky pistons and regular pistons and the interface. So let's make a bunch of these real quick. We're going to do it in our thing. We do you. We need 18 of these, okay? There's that. And then we need nine of the stickies. And then we put these in there. And then we can make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. All right, these are what lets you read an inventory. You start with the interface, and you put these advancement, limitless potential. Put all these on here. Okay. And now these are reading the inventory. And now we take these cables that we have here, all right? And we run the cables. These are the, the regular old cables. Run these down the line like this. And we're going to hook them up to the controller over here okay so i'm going to bring the controller out this way like so bring it went too far break that out real quick network apprenticing okay so we now have all nine of these hooked up to our network okay and if we look in our network you can see one two three four five six seven and nothing else and there's a reason for that these basic cables only have what they call uh, eight channels on them okay so that means they can only have up to eight connections basically is the way to think of it so anything past eight connections this cable doesn't know about and now it's 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 overloaded technically um, but basically what will happen is depending on the way you've net cabled your system you'll lose part of it and it'll start reading only the part that it can do so we we can only see up to seven and the reason it's only got up to seven is because guess what this connection here is in fact a um it is a connection right that is that is a connection that is a, a channel and it actually might be this disk drive is the one that that's causing it we can test that real quick though easy enough we go like this, come this way. You, we're going to come out this way. We're going to go over this guy. All right? Ah, we don't need the extra scaff there. Let me pick these up too. There we go. And connect this back up. One thing you'll notice is you see how it goes purple and then blue when it's connected. If we disconnect it, it's black, right? So purple, I think it's in the, it's thinking and it's finding its connection and then blue means it's connected. So now if we look in here, we have one through eight. So we're good to go. So, hey, that's awesome, right? So, except we still have this ninth one. We've got a nine in there, but we can't read it because we've overloaded these these cables. And so that gets us into thinking, okay, well, how do we make cables carry more? And you've got to think about this when you're cabling up your, your base and how you're doing it because um, these are basic eight cables. You have an, another kind of cable called a dense cable, and that can carry up to 32 channels per side. Okay, so let's break all this out real quick. I think... Actually, we can do a quartz wrench, maybe? Quartz wrench. Is that a thing? Oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong place. I was looking in my inventory instead of... Yeah, where's the quartz wrench? This guy right here. So you can make this out of quartz, right? Bam. And then you should be able to... Um, shift right click. Right? instead of having to use your, your pickaxe and break it. Just shift right click. So we can go down the line with a quartz wrench. 
They just fly all over the place, don't they? And just go down the line. I'm just holding shift and walking down the line. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make better cables. And I've got those set right here. So the first thing you got to do is you got to cover your cables. All right. That's you need covered cables before you can do anything else. And that's basically the cable plus some wool. So let's see what we've got for wool in our network. Wool. Yeah, we got black. That works. I'm okay with that. Um, and one thing I just want to point out is all of these cables, these glass cables, if we do glass cable and on up, they have different colors and they don't do anything different other than uh, allow you to color code your wiring so you know, okay, what's going on here, what's going on there, that kind of thing, right? So you can color these basically just by adding dye between them. So the same goes all the way along the line. You can connect different colored glass cables together. Um, it'll still be the same number of channels, though. So just it's, it's a visual thing for you only. It doesn't really do anything. But anyways, so we take our glass cables. We're going to cover them. So boom, there's 64 covered cables. Okay. These are technically black, I guess, or maybe not. Maybe they're just regular. So we've got 64 glass or covered cables, okay? From there, you can go dense cables. You take four of those, and those become a dense cable. So if we take this, and we go like that, and bam, now we have 16 dense cables. And now if we took this, and we connected this up down the line. Nope, let's see how much bigger it is. A lot bigger than the other, so bam. Bam. Uh, I don't know if that's connecting. You may actually have to use regular glass cables to do the connection off of that point. This is, these are going to be more for um, more for the large connection itself, like the lines, the big backbones that you run through your base. And then you'll connect the glass cables off of the regular. So you see they didn't connect up here. So that, that didn't help. But what you could do is we could run this out one more. Take it out one more. Like, where'd they go? So, we'll put them, instead of here, they go here. Bam, 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 bam. And then we can put these here. Actually, it could have been there. That doesn't take up a different block. That's I forgot about that. You see how that's still the same block? The interface and the block is the same block, so we could have kept them right where they were. So let's do that then. Let's go U and take these off real quick. And then I'll do a shift and just walk through here and take these off. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So then you could take these back, and we could run these along here, like this. And so if this is your backbone coming out, you could do it this way. And then connect this like this, and all right, that's all hooked up. Now we should have, we don't, why don't we? This is a good question. Why don't we have that? These should be 32, right? Hmm what is happening and it might have something to do with these being connected and confusing it possibly um let me try something real quick Let's see if i can disconnect these no what do we have now we have one through eight hmm this one is still disconnected it's still not running off of that line. I wonder why. I wonder if it's because of these connections here are confusing it. Like, because it looks like it's connected here, so it thinks it's all of that. But you know what we can do to test that? We can verify that. Let's go break him out. Let's put him on the side here. And then we take this, and we'll go along this way and hook him up that way. Now, see, he's coming online. He's thinking. He's thinking about it. 
Actually, you know what? Purple might mean you're still good, and then blue means, hey, this is this is it. It's full. But we'll know for a fact here if we reconnect this guy real quick. And now we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We still don't have 9 for some reason. Oh, you know why? Because we overloaded because of this connection here. So let's, once again, see if we can adjust this. Take this off. Take this off, take this off, and this off. We'll come out the front of this instead. Like this. Don't, 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 don't. And get these two real quick. I really tight on the number of cables I made for this demonstration. Bomb. Mr. Baum. And these are all online. That one is still not online. I'm wondering if that connection there is screwing it up. We're still not getting nine. Let me see if I can figure this out and I'll get back on it. Okay, so. I definitely think it's some cable crossing causing the problem. So here's the deal. You can go in and you can make what's called a Certus knife or cutting knife. It's just some Certus quartz, iron, and mossy stick. You get that. And then you mix that with iron and you make what's called cable anchors. Okay. And this right here is just the knife cuts. You can use most any kind of metal it looks like. And you get a bunch of those. So I've got some of those. So what we're going to do is I'm going to actually come out here. And I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to anchor off that side. Right? That way it doesn't attach to the one next to it. And I think these are all fine attached together. It's just that last one. Oop. I tried even making different color. I read that different color cables don't attach to each other, but you can see the lie there on that one. Um, I'm going to hook all these up now. Like that. Okay. So that's good. And then we're going to take these dents and run the dents all the way down this way. Pick that last one up. And now you can see everything's there. Look in there zero or one through nine they're all there now and it's because we didn't let these connect and i think that what that was is it was seeing the connection down this line here instead of coming from the dense cable and so that one anchor kept him from touching these and then he's got his connection through the dense cable for sure and it's not overloaded so that's pretty cool uh one last thing to look at is what's called a smart cable and you can have the smart cables, which is basically a covered cable plus a redstone and glowstone. Um, we need a covered cable, so let's go back. Smart cable. Let's make a covered cable. Put that in. Then we can make a smart cable. Take that. We're going to put that. We'll probably put that right here. And we'll throw our little smart cable there. And... It tells you when you're looking at it how many channels you have on that and so actually we probably here we want to make a dense smart cable because this is a 32 channel line that we're trying to run up so let's do three more covered cables right uh, I've got them right here actually that's the, that one three more of these guys we need to do it in our own crafting here instead Bam, one, two, three, put that in there, put, make me, um, smart, dense, that's what we want, and this is made with, um, what is it, dense, smart, yeah, so we need one of these, the dense covered cable, we actually have dense covered cable, don't we, yeah, so let's make a dense, smart cable instead, so if we take you, Put you there. Give me redstone. Please put that there. Give me glowstone. Put that there. Now we've got a dense smart cable. And we put that guy there. We get all nine lines. Everything's there. 
and we can look at it and you can see up in the tooltip nine of 32 channels are in use and so you can have these at certain junctions and you can kind of tell like hey what's going on on this line so that's cabling um in a nutshell we're going to do more of this when we start hooking this up to machines and stuff in the next episode and that's when we're going to get into the auto crafting so yeah all right, so that's probably as good a place as any to stop. Uh, we got the basics of cabling explained. Showed you why you want to watch your channel numbers. Um, yeah, you could say that um, simple storage is definitely easier, but wait till we get into the auto crafting in the next couple of episodes and you can see the power that uh, Applied Energetics will give you. So if you enjoyed that video, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you want to see more like that, hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And uh, yeah, until next time, you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.